Today we're going to be listening to Times of Grace. This is a band that many of you have recommended that I listen to off the back of my Kill Switch Engaged, Kill Switch Engage videos. Um, this is another band that they started with the singer and the guitarist and it's also supposed to be another Christian heavy lyric one. So this is a song that was recommended to me, Far From Heavenless. We're just going to watch the music video together on this one and analyze the lyrics, see what we think. Come along with the ride. Let's jump into this. And guys, before we get into this, please do like and subscribe and get involved in the comments section. Say any songs that you recommend, say any things that you would like for us to go through um, because I want to do more of these videos and it really helps me as a, a new channel. Um, it's taken me a little while to grow, but we'll get there. We'll get there. I'm feeling far from heavenless. A dying love becomes reborn to fill the empty space with an air of purpose. That is biblical. Um, that is absolutely biblical. He, because he says, a dying love becomes reborn. Jesus was the son of God. God is love. And that dying love became reborn on the third day and he gave the Christians their purpose for their life. He, uh, in Mark chapter 1, he calls the first apostles. They were fishermen. And he says, come and follow me and I will make you fishermen of men. So he absolutely gave us a purpose. That our lives were no longer for ourselves to get everything that we wanted, to live for who ourselves. But actually we have a purpose for as many people as possible to hear about this dude who died for us, whose name is Jesus, and to follow him. Is, is there forgiveness for a soul that wanders? Good question. Or just bitterness? Bitterness moving onward. And uh, guys, like there's nothing more true than this. I know people who um, are extremely bitter, you know, get very angry at the world. And I know they have a lot of regrets. They've wandered, you know, and probably didn't know they were wandering just following everyone else, following what other people are doing. And sooner or later, they they realize that, man, they've really wandered from the nice guy they used to be, the nice kid that they used to be. And now they're pretty bad people. But how do you get rid of the shame? And I think for a lot of men, what they struggle with is shame. Um, how do you get rid of that? Okay, well, there is forgiveness in this. How can I have the things that I'm struggling to forgive be forgiven. A truth becomes reality only to those who will the spirit, the spirit of the infinite. There, the truth is, is that yes, you absolutely can be forgiven, and that can become a reality.
in his lyrics, he's just connecting with us. Most likely, he's trying to reach out to those who are listening. You know, seeking a path of deliverance. That's what people need in this world we're in today. Let the truth absolve our bitterness. The Bible says in John seventeen seventeen, sanctify them by the truth. Your word is truth. Is we need truth in our lives. And when you find it, guys, when you find the truth, you know you've found it. When someone tells you how you're supposed to live life and you really hear it, it's like, ah. Oh, have you ever had someone say something and you're like, man, and it, all of a sudden you're like, yes, you've, you've explained something I've always not been able to articulate. That's, that's when you hear truth. When you read the Bible, guys, if you've never read it before, someone who was an atheist for 26 years of my life, I'd never heard the Bible. When I read that thing, when I read what Jesus said in the Bible, I was like, yes, now it all makes sense. Or every question, every wondering, every decision that I made that I... It all, I now, everything I've been through now makes sense. Feeling far from heavenless, poured from the ground to be given the clouds. <laughs> awesome. Love that. Is that we we in the world, we, we're in the ground, we're in the dirt, we're in the messiness, you know? You know, with the soil and it's just dirty, dirty life. When you live this life, it separates you from the source of love. And you want it, you don't want that, you know, and it kind of life loses its saltiness. But then if you kind of can break that wall down, that sin and go in the clouds, oof, guys, it is awesome. But anyway, look, I'm going to leave it there. We've been going on for a little while, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Ultimately, guys, I just want to say that if you do not have a relationship with Christ, if that is something that right now you are wrestling with, I'm not going to call you just to pray on me right now. It's not what Jesus did when he had all those followers following him in Luke chapter 14 that we spoke about earlier. I'm going to call you to study the Bible. Um, I've made a video um, that you can check out here where I show how to read the Bible, which is really important. I recommend you start reading from the book of John, which is all about Christ. Learn about Christ, but most importantly, learn about what is sin, learn about what you need to repent of, and learn about the new life that you need to be living, and make a decision. Am I ready to do this? Am I ready to live this? And if you surrender your heart in a knowledge of exactly what needs to change, not just saying a prayer when really you haven't repented at all, um, then um, then you need to go and find a church that is teaching the Bible. I'm going to be um, finding out a way to to offer more, to offer more in terms of studying, to offer more in terms of uh, helping people on this journey. But if you're interested, please just drop me a comment and I can do my best to help. Love you guys a lot. What should I say? What should be a little ending for my videos? Love you guys a lot. And remember, seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and everything will be taken care of.